Welcome back. It's the haunting hour here in Columbus, and we hope you're ready for some tricks this morning. Our Renee Skinner joins us live from the Columbus Fairgrounds all right, for the ready to welcome back. all the thrill seekers this Halloween. Renee, how's it going? Hey, Eric, uh, I am at the Columbus Fairgrounds uh, getting ready for a night of spookiness and thrills. And I am joined by Rhonda Sanders. She is the president of the Community Benefit Committee. Mrs. Sanders, thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for having me. Yeah, so let's talk about the details uh, of this haunted house. It's called the Nightmare at the, the Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. Yeah. And uh, what are the hours? When's it happening? And what can people expect coming out? Tonight. 5 o'clock to 10, uh -huh. uh, expect to be scared. Um, come through the exhibit building and uh -huh. get your tickets and come under the stairways uh -huh. and um, come for six room of Pier D Fear. Oh my goodness. Uh, all the proceeds go towards uh, getting toys for the kids here in Columbus and Lowndes right. County for Christmas. Right, and you guys put on a, a similar haunted house last year and you were able to do so much good in the community. Talk about uh, the reception last year and what you were able to do. Oh, we had hundreds of people to come through the haunted house last year mm -hmm. and we were able to buy over 250 bikes uh, for kids nice. throughout. We went out in Crawford, Artesia. We spread it out into the county last year. That was yeah. our first year. So um, hopefully this year we'll do the same. It gets bigger and better every year. It sure does. It sure does. Talk about the planning that went behind this because, you know, it's different. It's unique. Yes. This year I think it's bigger even. You guys even have a hallway as well. So talk about the planning involved. We have two huge ha hallways and six rooms. Um, in the haunted house this year. Yeah. We started back in September mm -hmm. um, through October, yeah. of course, and it took a lot of people to put it together. Uh, Off-duty police officers and citizens here in Columbus came together and we did it. Very nice, and very nice. We just need the public to come out and show some support tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. And Eric, you told me before we headed out to the Columbus Fairgrounds to break a leg. Well, I'm here to tell you that unlike this guy, I've got the leg power and the running shoe needed just in case things get a little spooky. Is that a good yeah, idea, Miss Rhonda? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, we'll have more uh, uh, coming up uh, at the Columbus Fairgrounds. Uh, more details about what you can expect coming out. It's going to be a spooky, fun time, so stick with us throughout the morning. Back to you in the studio.